Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an in-place upgrade on a server. So in this demonstration, it's going to be, I'm going to upgrade a server 2012 to a server 2016. Now, um, typically server updates and upgrades, you would prefer to build a fresh server if possible. Uh, but in this case, we want to keep data. Say we have existing you know, data, I've got some sample data here and we want to uh, keep that. So on a normal, you know, fresh upgrade, you would, you know, put a disk in, boot to it, you know, bare metal, or just you're trying to, uh, you know, reformat it and you just boot to it. But in this one, uh, the process, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we have the server online. We're going to install the, uh, insert the disk. So a disk, if it's a physical, uh, it works the same if you're on Hyper-V or VMM or, VMware, or, or even, a, you know, like I said, a physical, you, you put the disk or ISO in while the machine's on, and then you launch that disk and you run the setup program. So uh, in here, I'm in a lab environment, so I'm using VMM. So, uh, but like I said, it's the same. So what we're going to start out is I'm just going to go to the disks here, and I'm going to uh, right click on the machine and go to properties, and I'm going to get to the location where I can insert a disk. So uh, for VMM, that's hardware configuration. Uh, then I'm going to go to virtual DVD drive here and it looks like I have one in there. So I'm just, I have in this lab environment, I have a bunch of ISOs in a library. So I'm just going to browse to uh, here and I'm going to look for a 2016 disc. And let's see, we've got a couple in there. So it looks like uh, the bottom two say office. So that's not it. So this is it. Windows server standard or core 2016. So let's pick that one. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, so I can insert that ISO in and hit OK. And then VMM will update and load that disk. So let me go back to my machine now. Uh, so you can see here it shows, you know, that the disk drive is, uh, you know, uh, sees the disk that's inserted and says tap what to, what to choose. But you could always, just like any normal computer, it's, it's your D drive here. So if you double click on that, same difference, you, we want to load the files in the D drive here. Uh, so after that double click here, it's reading the Windows 2016 disk. And it's going to prep here. Whoops, accidentally clicked on that. No, I don't want to quit. So it gives you a couple choices here. Uh, you can do the updates or not. Typically, these updates uh, help the process go uh, a little smoother. So if you're missing something on the 2012 patches that it needs for the 2016, so it is recommended to do these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them uh, and I'll hit next here and it's gonna check. Uh, it, it's, it's not gonna actually start that yet. When it gets to the update spot, I'll pause it so uh, y'all don't have to sit here and watch me go through those updates. Uh, so now it, it's asking which version we have, uh, standard data center, et cetera. So uh, this one right now, you can see at the bottom right of the server is uh, R2 data center. So we're going to go with another data center. Now the desktop is the GUI experience. The other one, the default regular is the core. So we want to also keep this as a GUI. So we'll pick that bottom one and hit next. Uh, then it's also, you know, asking me to accept the licensing terms, which I'll go ahead and accept and agree to that. And now here's a critical step here. What do you want to keep? Do you want to keep your stuff or nothing? So like I said, this is an in-place upgrade I'm demonstrating. So we're going to want to keep everything on there. If you just wanted to format the thing, you would say nothing. I just want a fresh copy, a clean install. So we'll go ahead and keep and hit next. So now it is going to do this uh, check for updates process doesn't take too long, depends on the environment, the machine, et cetera. Um, you know, five or 10 minutes uh, for, for it to do this, probably something around there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pause it. Uh, it's going to reboot uh, two or three times during it. So I'll wait until we get all the way to the end before I unpause. So let me do that. So after that first round of it downloading the updates, before it starts installing, uh, this does pop up here. And what this is, is just a screen that says, hey, you know, Microsoft best practice, it, they recommend a clean install because problems can happen on uh, these upgrades. In a real production environment, you would want to make sure for any kind of upgrade like this that you have a full backup of, of the server you're upgrading. But for this one, like I said, I'm, I'm in a lab environment here. I'm just demonstrating this. So I'm going to just say go ahead and confirm and I want to go along with the, the upgrade. 
So I'm going to say confirm here. Uh, it also does a space check. You typically need, you know, 40, 50 gigs for the OS itself. And it's just doing a summary here and saying it's ready to go. So I'm going to hit install. Uh, and here's, uh, like I said, here's where it, it will reboot a couple times. So I think it reboots at like, you know, at least once at 30 and once at 60 to 75 percent. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it again and I'll unpause once the uh, restarts are just about done. All right, so it finished its reboot and uh, now it's bringing me to the license terms here. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that those terms. And um, after this, it should bring us, there we go. And so we're ready. Let me hit control delete to log in here and log in with my password. It should be the same one you were using before. All right, and you can see the desktop, totally different type of background here, um, but everything should load up like normal, server manager, et cetera, just the 2016 version. You can see I had some that sample data that I had put on my desktop, so that's that's still here and intact. If I had real data on the server, it would still be there are programs. Uh, you should still go check it after and verify it if you're doing this in a real production environment. Uh, so let me close off the server manager here. I can and it may go a little slow this first load because it's a potentially a you know a new profile here that it's accessing um, let me bring up the system here and you can see now we are a Windows 2016 uh, server uh, data center edition so uh, that's it for the upgrade process uh, thanks a lot